What's up, everyone? Today we're making beef chow fun with gravy, a saucy version of our classic beef chow fun, satisfying all of your cravings for chewy rice noodles covered in luscious gravy. First, my dad will show you how a Chinese chef prepares the beef for max tenderness. When you look at the grain, you're seeing which way the muscle fibers are running. You want to cut those fibers short, because if you don't cut those fibers with your knife now, then your teeth will be working overtime to cut them later when you're chewing. That's what we mean by meat being tough. When you put the meat on your cutting board, align those grain lines to run from left to right, and set your knife perpendicular to those lines to cut your pieces for stir fry. On your completed slice, you shouldn't see any long grain lines. We'll cut the beef into roughly quarter inch slices. We'll let the beef soak while we continue with the next ingredient. After rinsing the fermented black beans, we'll add some water and set them aside to soak. Okay, we'll use about a quarter each of a red and green bell pepper. We'll cut the onion roughly into triangular pieces. Then we'll make sure each piece is separate with our hands. We'll change the angle of our knife each time to create triangular pieces of bell pepper. We'll smash, peel, and mince three cloves of garlic. We'll cut the ginger first into thin slices, then lay them down to cut into strips, then rotate to mince. Now we can drain the water from the beef. Make sure to squeeze out the water so it can absorb the marinade well. For the marinade, we'll combine a quarter teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of sugar, a half teaspoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of white soy sauce, a half teaspoon of dark soy sauce, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one and a half teaspoons of cornstarch, and two tablespoons of water. We'll set aside the beef to marinate and revisit our fermented black beans. We'll drain the water from the black beans, then do another quick rinse for good measure. Make sure all the beans are crushed so they can release their flavor into the sauce later. Once the consistency of the beans is like a rough paste, we can set it aside and my dad will show you how to prepare the noodles before cooking them. This 
咁搓佢。你我揾幾靚空銀？係一定要買新鮮啊！啊，新鮮河粉炒嚟先靚。一買翻嚟嗰日係嗰日煮嘅。係新鮮啫嘛，河粉係最新鮮最好啊嘛。We'll continue massaging and separating the noodles with our hands。點解要整散啊？你唔整散，整散炒嘅時候咪唔得散咯，一嚿嚿咯。以前咧就係、是、啲中國餐館嘅河粉係唔唔會擺入雪櫃嘅，擺咗入雪櫃咧，河粉就炒就冇咁靚啦。朝早攞翻嚟就買，就即刻賣嘅，唔會拎雪櫃嘅。但係呢度唔得，美國做衞生制度唔得。How do you prep the chow fun if it's been refrigerated and it's no longer soft？ 整散咗先就雪櫃，啲人雪櫃咧你最好拎出嚟。如果你話大炒嘅咧，喺個咩嘅蒸嘅整軟佢先炒，就可以咁啦。即係你點知佢係新鮮啊？係硬，老實講呢只新河粉唔係轉真正係新鮮河粉，佢硬咗啦。不過都好仲 OK， 可以用得。如果係係一定冇，即係冇得買新鮮，就要買乾，係咪要浸水浸？得可以得，買啲乾河粉嚟慢慢擠，邊啲嫩水浸浸完佢都 OK， 浸淋佢俾俾佢冚焗住佢。Cantonese people split beef chow fun dishes into two categories: sub chow ngau ho and gon chow ngau ho. Literally, wet beef chow fun and dry beef chow fun. Here is the major difference. Although both recipes call for ho fun, named after the town of Shahe in Guangzhou, where these famous flat rice noodles were first created, dry beef chow fun emphasizes the fragrance of the stir-fried ingredients, whereas wet beef chow fun highlights It's the heartwarming sauce that is served atop the noodles. There are several varieties of wet beef chow fun. This specific recipe is called si jiu ngao ho because its signature flavor involves dao si or fermented black beans. Now my dad's gonna spill the beans on how he makes his secret sauce. 我煮嘢嘅時候咧，夠定嘅梳子，煮嘅時候埋埋上埋軟炒。我唔唔唔中意一樣一樣咁俾落去嘅。For the sauce, we'll add one teaspoon of light soy sauce, a half teaspoon of dark soy sauce, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, three tablespoons of water, a third teaspoon of white pepper, a half teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of sugar. We'll add an extra teaspoon of dark soy sauce here for color. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. With our wok ready, we'll do a final preparation step before we start to cook. 在炒翻之前咧，呢、这個牛肉，誒我就要落少少油上去啦，等佢可以封曬入邊啲汁，兩個湯匙，佢油上去，封咗佢先，嗱，得啦，封咗佢，先拉油，好啦，而家就準備開始炒粉啦，啊，開到最猛火，嗱，炒一個粉底咧就炒牛肉，炒完牛肉淋上去得噶啦。嗯，嚟睇到有煙，睇到個乾曬嘅下邊底下啦嘛。其實炒粉底唔需要落咁油嘅喎，因為佢入邊得河粉好多油啊嘛。We'll add about a tablespoon of oil。攞攞佢，使埋火只鍋，啊，將啲粉倒落嚟，開緊火佢。My。Whole fun turns mushy and sticks together in a giant lump as I try it. Why does this happen? 如果你係新鮮嘅河粉，佢就唔會一嚿嚿。如果你係一隻河粉係唔新鮮嘅，炒就好容易一嚿。首先你炒之前一定要整散佢先炒。炒粉唔一定要鑊散咗，用用筷子炒就得噶啦。啊！ With your preferred utensils, move the noodles around the wok, making sure they're separated and spread out. 呢個底，好粉唔使密密攪佢喎，你攪得多佢越越容易碎咗喎，知嘛 ？After about a minute of stir frying one side without moving it too much, we'll flip the noodles over to the other side. 啊，即係。How do you keep the noodles from sticking to the wok and breaking? 唔知喎，咧就首先就照燒個鍋，燒到好乾，先至落油，落油咧平輕咁攞過佢，就唔好即刻好猛火咁樣炒佢，俾筷子。
炒，好、哦、反啊佢，唔好炒得系咁啊咁炒，越得得快就越会断，好似餐馆嘅，得得火唔同，得火唔同。好快脆炒，但系你屋企唔系咁炒。一般你屋企都系俾个镬铲咁铲下啲。我教人炒嘅就屋企做嗰啲嘢，放埋火佢，再炒落去。How do you get a nice crispy char on the noodles？ 佢見到咧粉炒得佢粉轉睇睇嘅時候，咁咁咪有啲焦喺度，咁咪有啲咁味道喺度咯。中意煙香味嘅你就煎香啲佢，唔中意嘅咧就唔好。好啦，炒到而家咧，啲粉就基本上可以得噶啦。After another 30 to 40 seconds of stir frying, we can add some flavor to the noodles with about one tablespoon of light soy sauce. Then stir the noodles to mix in the soy sauce. Once the soy sauce is mixed in, we can plate the noodles. Here, we will cook it. We will cook the noodles in the pan. 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 Right away, we will heat our wok and add oil to cook the beef. 好啦，牛肉喺落去，三分猛火佢。如果一直咁猛火咧，啲牛肉咧就會老咗佢啦，係嘛？因為啲油夠熱，呢個方法咧拉油嘅時候拉嫩油，咁咧啲牛肉咧就會好滑啦。如果你就咁煮就唔唔會咁滑。都得，不過咧你又又要慢慢反啊，佢慢慢反啊，佢咁啊。得噶啦，已經牛肉唔好拉得咁耐，啲牛肉要六七分熟就得噶啦。特別呢個係時節嚟嘅啊。After about a minute, we'll take out the beef. 啊，豬肉都好靚啊，好滑噶嘛，睇落去係嘛。We'll set the beef aside in the strainer to let any excess oil drip off. I also wanted to make a special shout out to thank all of our wonderful Patreon supporters for helping bring this video to life. If you enjoy our videos and are interested in supporting us directly, head on over to patreon.com slash madewithlao to learn more. Now we'll pour out the excess oil still in the wok from cooking the beef. You can reserve this oil to use for cooking later. We'll stir fry the garlic and ginger until fragrant, or about 10 seconds. Then add our fermented black beans. My dad's adding about a tablespoon of water to the leftover black bean pieces in the bowl to use after the next step. Now, after 20 to 30 seconds of stir frying the black beans, we can add the onion and bell pepper. Then we'll add in the water from the black bean bowl. After another 10 to 20 seconds, we'll add the beef. We'll stir fry the beef for just 15 to 20 seconds, then add our sauce. Is it possible to add too much sauce and then it gets too sticky and clumps together? Sauce 炒咧，你唔好太多汁，太多汁倒落嚟，跟咪溶曬，咁粉味一嚿嚿咯。啱啱好。稍微係切咗少，多多點啲汁落去，將嗰啲汁多點出嚟，咪啲河粉。My dad adds another tablespoon of water here because he thinks the sauce is too thick.
Now, we'll pour our saucy beef and vegetables over our noodles and serve to our eagerly awaiting family. Oh. It's so good. The smoky flavor on the noodles is really good. It's so good. Cheers! 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 Cheers!